Welcome back to my tutorial video and in this video we are going to see what is Padlet. So Padlet is actually an online application uh, that can be used uh, as a bulletin board that we can display information for any kind of topics to our students. So here I'm going to show you how you can make one. Okay, before that, I'm going to share with you the padlets that I have made. I made a padlet called Two Stars and a Wish. So in my padlet, I have requested the students of what they think uh, towards my lesson that we carry out online and if they enjoy the session. So I've given them an example and also a sample. And here I get to know their expectations and the process that they are going through during the lesson and if they like it and if they don't like it. And I can choose to give feedback on their uh, on their post on my padlet so thank you for the wonderful feedback uh, for example okay I too hope the pandemic will soon cease. Okay. So there you go, you can also give comments and like their post. Okay, I'm going to come back and do that uh, and comment on the student's post in a while. Click on make a padlet. To choose the kind of template that would be suitable to the kind of activity that you want to carry out with your class like me uh, in my activity i chose wall because uh, it was just a simple activity that required students to give feedback on the lesson but if i'm doing a uh, padlet on a storyline on a literature that they have read perhaps a summary, I can use canvas. And if I have a collection of pictures uh, that I want my students to go through, I can use stream. So these are the kind of uh, layouts that you can click and uh, explore. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose wall. On your right hand side, uh, there's a column where you can change the title, add in the descriptions, or even change the wallpaper if you want to. Okay. Okay. You can change the font. I can allow my students to come in. Okay, here under reaction, under reaction, okay, you can allow the students to give uh, feedback to your post. For example, you want to allow them to uh, like or vote or star or rate them according to the number of stars that you want to give them. You can actually choose that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and choose star okay. okay 
click next okay so here I'm gonna click the sign icon here okay the plus sign All right, so this will be my first pose. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and ask them what they think about the poetry that they have just read. I'm not going to provide the title of the poem, but I'm going to hint them by giving a picture. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you already can guess uh, the poetry, it's a form for poetry. Okay, so the students who have actually read the poetry would know uh, which poem that I'm referring to. So here I'm going to allow them to read. See? Okay, so when I share this, the students, they can actually read the picture and also give comment if they have enjoyed reading it or not. Okay, so you can read. Now I'm going to share this to the class that I want to collaborate with. Okay, choose Google Classroom. You can also share this on other platforms. But now we're going to focus on Google Classroom. And here you'll be assigning the tasks to the classes. Okay. Say okay. Choose an action. Create assignment. Okay. You can just uh, add in um, feedback on poetry. Okay. Feedback on poetry. Instruction. Click on the link. Uh, click on the link. And give me your uh, feedback on the poem we discussed today. That's it. And the materials there. Okay. You can just assign. Now if you have a due date, you can give a due date. For example, April 14. Assign. So you are done assigning the tasks to your students. So you only need to wait and you will be able to see all the feedback and the ratings that they have given uh, on the Padlet that you have created.